Hi everyone and welcome to Paynton in South Devon. It's a glorious early April morning and this morning I'm going to catch the round robin excursion and I'm going to leave from Paynton on the steam train. I'm also going to get a boat across the River Dart to Dartmouth. I'm going to travel along the River Dart to Totnes and then I'm going to travel back on a bus to Paynton. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to show you snapshots of the town along the way, as well as footage of the beautiful journeys that I'm about to experience. So just before we get on the steam train, let me just give you a little look around Paynton. Paynton is a holiday destination. I do have a video about it, which I'll link to at the end so you can see it in more detail. But here I'll just give you a little look around and I'll show you where the train stations are as well. So where you pick up the steam train is very central in Paynton, just a few minutes walk from the seafront and right next to the railway station in the middle of town. So I've booked my ticket online and I'm just going to collect my ticket from the ticket office just here. So as you can see, I have picked up my ticket here. It cost me £36. I booked it online so there was a £2 booking fee and you can see my itinerary there which is very helpful because I'm going to forget it otherwise <laughs> so let's go and have a look at the train so we've got about half an hour before the train leaves so I thought I'd show you a little bit of footage of the train this is my friend Cheryl she's not joining me for the video today but she will video me getting onto the train so here's the observation car and that's an extra three pound on top of the train fare that you've already paid if you want extra special views of this beautiful journey so yeah, extra three pound. I'm just going to go and have a look inside now. So for the extra three pound, you get a lovely armchair seat with wide windows there for spectacular views along the way. I'm just going to go in a standard class carriage, but that looks a lovely treat for an extra three pound. I'm just walking along the platform, going to see if the engine's attached yet. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, The Dartmouth Steam Railway runs for seven miles or approximately half an hour's journey along the Torbay coast and it runs past beautiful beaches and through wooded slopes along the Dart Estuary. There's absolutely stunning scenery as the train approaches Kings Weir with views across the Dart to the charming old town of Dartmouth. So sit back and just enjoy a little bit of the journey.
So just before we go across the River Dart over to Dartmouth on the ferry, let's have a look at the village of Kingsweir, where the train pulls into. So from this village, there's gorgeous views across the River Dart to Dartmouth. And there's also a little village shop. There's a post office and several places to eat and drink with amazing views. So I've just had a little look around Kingsweir and now I'm going to embark on this Western Lady Ferry to cross the River Dart over to Dartmouth and I'll show you a little bit of Dartmouth when we get there. So I'm on the ferry now, this ferry of course is included in the price of the round robin ticket. It's just going to take us about five minutes to cross over to Dartmouth. You can just see where we're going to land actually, just across the river there. So just on the hill ahead of us there is, I believe, the Royal Naval College in Dartmouth. And I believe that's where the late Queen first ever set eyes on the then Prince Philip. Dartmouth is an absolutely lovely town. I'm going to do a separate short video on it. But just look at it from the boat. It's just beautiful. It's got some lovely quaint shops lots of independent shops as well and some really good fudge shops i'll show you one of them when we get there so that was a really quick trip probably less than five minutes i'm just starting my trip here with a stroll along the embankment Oh, I had myself some delicious fudge from Edward's Fudge Kitchen yesterday. I got some ginger fudge. It was so good. seafood chowder I really have to try some of this I absolutely adore seafood chowder that's gonna to have to be my lunch so this is at the market in Dartmouth do you have any of the red meat at all <laughs>
oh, I need to come back to Dartmouth another day to do another video. I just can't do it justice with being here just for this short amount of time. I've come down to the embankment again now to enjoy my seafood chowder just before the boat comes that will take me on to Totnes. Now luckily I bought this spork thing in the RNLI yesterday which is going to be really handy for my trips out and it's having its first use with this seafood chowder I just bought from the market here. So the time has come all too soon for me to get my riverboat cruise to Totnes and I believe this is it now so I'm going to go and embark that after my absolutely delicious lunch with that seafood chowder. The Didishan Princess. Now we're going to make our way up to Totnes. We'll point out some places of interest to you as we travel along. If you require refreshments throughout the voyage, we do have a refreshments bar on board the vessel. We sell tea, coffee, beer, spirits and soft drinks. There's also toilets should you need them. The river cruise from Dartmouth to Totnes was just so relaxing. It's about nine miles and it takes 90 minutes. And as we travelled along, the skipper pointed out lots of things of interest, lots of wildlife and lots of historical information as well. So this is the boat I've just come in on. Absolutely lovely cruise along the river. Went really quickly and it was really, really relaxing. And the skipper was really so knowledgeable about all the wildlife and everything we saw along the cruise. Really lovely. So you get off the boat over there and just over here is the open top double decker bus that will take us back to Paynton. I'm gonna spend an hour or so in the town first of all though for a look around. I'll get the next bus. They go at half past the hour at the moment. So I'm going to half past five bus. So I've never been to this town before. I'm just going to follow my nose and see where you end up. So I'm just going to try and give you a little taste of Totnes while I've got an hour here. It looks like an absolutely gorgeous place. As I say, I've only got a very short time here. Excuse the seagulls. It's very arty and very, it's a really lovely feeling about it actually. So I believe at the top of these steps is the historic guild hall. Let's go and have a look. So the steps have just brought us up to St. Mary's churchyard. And what a fine spring evening it is. And I'm just cutting out the steps down from the churchyard now and entering the historic Guild Hall area. There we go. Oh, this looks a lovely church. I don't have time to go inside this afternoon, I'm sorry. I'm definitely going to have to come back to Totnes to do a proper video, but hopefully this gives you a flavour the place. There seems to be lots of alleyways like this. Pie Street, British soul food, that sounds very delicious. I'm really loving all the independent shops around here.
hot nest has a castle as well, but I don't have time to visit it today. I'll definitely come back. Well, here I am, just about ready to catch my last mode of transport back to Paynton and getting the open topper bus. I've had a thoroughly enjoyable day. It's been absolutely brilliant. The rob round robin thing is absolutely great. And it's very flexible as well. You can book trips, book times even, <laughs> to suit what you want to do, how long you want to spend in different places. There's various options and you can go in either direction as well. So if you're thinking about it, I'd thoroughly encourage you to book it. And the river cruise was absolutely amazing and the steam train trip as well. Totally brilliant. So yeah, if you've got value from this video, please give me a like, a comment or a share. And can I encourage you to subscribe to the channel as well? It's totally free, no forms. And I'll show you places all around the southwest of England to visit if you do so. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.